let's start our configuration related to bank charges and vendor outgoing payments. First is creation of bank charges GL account which is an expense account. For that, I will use the T code that is FS00. See here, in this window, since it is an expense, expand the expenses account group. Okay, since it is an expense, what you have to do is you have to expand the expenses account group and then right click on the discount charged on bill account and click on copy. Yes, you will get a pop-up window. In the pop-up window, enter the new account number and press the enter key. And now on the right side of the screen, rename the description as bank charges. What you have to do, you have to rename the description as bank charges. Since I have copied from the existing expenses account, there is no much of entries to be done here. Okay, I am just making sure that all the entries are correct. Yes, it is looking good. Now what I'll do is I have to save the changes. So I'll click on the save button. The next configuration is assigning the bank charges for automatic posting. For that, what is the T code which we will be using here? Yes, it is OBXK. Or else you can always use the menu part too. So what I'll do is I'll enter slash in the command field and I'll press enter. So that this will be taking me to SAP Easy Access screen. I will show you the menu path for this transaction code that is OBXK. For that I'll go to SPRO, then SAP Reference IMG, Financial Accounting, Accounts Receivable and Accounts Payable. And here I'll select this business transaction and this outgoing payments and I'll click on this outgoing payments global settings. And finally I will click on this define accounts for bank charges that is vendors. When I click on this, the system will navigate us to the new window. And now we need to assign the bank charges GL account against the bank charges transaction that is BSP. Okay. So what do we have to do to assign this? To assign, what I'll do is I'll just double click on this bank charges. When you double click on this bank charges, you will get a pop-up window requesting the chart of accounts. So, enter the chart of accounts as ABCC and hit enter. Once you hit enter, the system will take us to the new window. And here, in this field, can you see this? Yes, in this field, we assign the bank charges GL account. And then, we will click on the save button. So, what happened? All the configurations here are completed. Now our job is to test it. So let's test it. For that what I'll do is at the first step, I'll just enter slash in, in the command field and press enter. So that this will take me to the SAP Easy Access screen. Now from SAP Easy Access, I will post the vendor invoice. For that I'll go to accounting, financial accounting, accounts payable, document entry and finally I will double click on this invoice general. Okay, now I will post an invoice to the vendor that is ATL for the amount of 10,000. Okay, since you are already aware of these steps, I will not repeat the steps. Okay. Now the vendor invoice is created. Enter slash in the command field and press enter so that this will take me to the SAP Easy Access screen. So from this SAP Easy Access screen, I'll go to on this outgoing payments and I double click on this post. When I double click on this post, you will be able to see the screen. Here, what I'll do is I'll just add the entries like we do normally. That is enter the bank account. Now for the amount, I'll enter the amount as 10,050 and the bank charges as 50. Now enter the account number of the vendor and press the enter key. As soon as you hit the enter key, the system will navigate us to the new window. Now the system here is already taking the cash discount, but what I'll do is I'll just manually delete it and I hit enter. See, now the fields amount entered and assigned are exactly same. Now I'll go to document and click on simulate. Yes, you can see that the bank charges GL account is automatically determined and it is showing the amount as 50 which is the bank charges. Got it? Now I'll just click on the save button and the document is posted. 
Now what you have to do is we have to go to document and click on display and you can verify here as well. So let's verify the entries in FBL3N report. For that, what is the T code? It is FBL3N. So I'll type it as slash O FBL3N and hit enter so that this will open in the new session. Here, I'll enter the GL account as bank charges GL account and accounts payable GL account. And I'll do certain entries like company code. After that, I'll select all items and then I'll click on the execute button. As soon as I click this execute button, the system will take me to the new window. Yes, as you can see, the vendor account is posted with only 10,000 and the remaining 50 has been posted to bank charges GL account automatically. That is what we wanted, right? The vendor account is posted with only 10,000 and the remaining 50 has been posted to bank charges GL account automatically. So guys, I hope you are now clear with the bank charges in account payable topic.